Hey there, everyone. Uh, I'm back with a quick, uh, quick tip for Cheetah today, uh, and this is all about isometric rendering. Um, so I was working on this 3D printer recently, or the the inner elements of a 3D printer, um, and this is actually for a website, uh, and it's going to be rendered out as static images, and there's going to be animation on it and things like that. So what I needed was a way to animate this where perspective didn't really come into things, because as you can see, if I move this print head around. It obviously gets larger or it appears to get larger uh, because it's using perspective. Um, so I needed a way to kind of handle this where I could things would remain the same size. And you see a lot of perspective, sorry, isometric renders on things like dribble, uh, on app icons and stuff like that. It's really popular style. So I wanted to render this one out like that. So if I hit render now. as it is. So it's a nice render. Uh, it looks it looks pretty well and the style's kind of bang on. But it's not really what I need at this point in time. What I actually need is this isometric style. So I've got two cameras set up, but the way you do it... Okay, uh, and the way you achieve this in Cheetah is you need to change the actual projection of the camera. So I've selected the camera object and we're not using a perspective camera, we're going to use the orthographic camera. And what you'll instantly see is, if we zoom out a little bit, you see now it's it's applied that and it's changed the rotation element of the of the camera there and then we're on 31 degrees at the moment we'll talk about that in a second but now if I grab this this print head here you can see it stays the same size and that's exactly what I want for the render um, you can play with this angle here which will just tilt it further forward and further backwards um, actually on my final render I think I'll go for something like 25 something like that so it's not quite as steep an angle uh, same principle applies now what I do is I tend to create two cameras one that's my isometric one and one that's a standard one and then just double clicking between the cameras will change that for you so let's give this one a render and it should come out looking pretty much like what we want And that's it, that's perfect. So if you look at the difference between the two, obviously we've got quite heavy perspective on that one there. And this one's in the uh, isometric style. Absolutely perfect for what I want. So it's that simple. It's just a matter of changing the projection of your camera and then getting the angles right. Uh, so that's it for this time. I'll be back soon with more tutorials. Thanks for watching.